let's find out just how chocolate was made in the 1700s with Sam Murphy, manager of historic trades at George Washington's Mount Vernon. Hi, Sam. Hi, Laura. I'm delighted to be able to show you how chocolate was produced in the 18th century during George Washington's life. Now, I know that chocolate starts out as a plant, but how does it go from being part of a tree in Central and South America to a chocolate drink on the Washington's table? Chocolate begins as a tiny flower growing on the trunk of the cacao tree, and little insects called midge flies pollinate these tiny flowers. What is pollination? Pollination occurs when insects or, or animals transfer pollen grains from the male anther of the flower to the female stigma. Once pollinated, these flowers will grow into pods. So without midge flies, there would be no chocolate? Exactly. <laughs> As the pods grow, they rise up the trunk and along the branches of the tree. When mature, the pods are carefully harvested, split open, and the 30 to 40 cocoa beans inside are scooped out along with a sweet tasting pulp called baba. Oh, wow. And these beans are what gets turned into chocolate. They sure are. Mm. And now during the next step, fermentation, the beans and pulp are laid into pits lined when covered with banana leaves and left to ferment anywhere from two to eight days. Mm -hmm. During this process, the yeast in the air mixes with the natural sugars of the pulp and a chemical reaction occurs. The next step is to dry the beans. To properly dry, the beans are laid out and exposed to the hot sun and turned regularly for five to seven days. This causes the moisture content of the beans to drop from about 60% to 7.5%. Mm -hmm. 